British Cycling, from your average Joe commuting around town to the weekend warriors to Bradley Wiggins, cycling is becoming an ever-increasing part of British culture, but it hasn't always been this way. From 1878 until the 1950s, there was a ban on road bike racing that was in effect in England. To put this situation in context, the roads were poorly constructed and the first car was yet to be made. Cyclists were riding at a furious 20 miles per hour, which upset the upperclassmen in horse-drawn carriages. A law was put into effect that almost banned cycling altogether. A rebel cyclist named Frederick Thomas Bidlake organized a way to get around the ban. He formed secret cycle races that starred each rider off at two to three minute intervals. The riders were all black to avoid attention. The races were put on in the early morning. If a rider was stopped by police, he could simply say that he was out for a ride. He couldn't possibly be racing because he was riding by himself. Legend has it that each course had its own code name, known only to the racing fraternity. Even after the ban was lifted, time trials dominated British cycling. Even now, there is still a strong time trial culture in the UK. On the continent, Riders may enter multi-day stage races without much experience of time trials. But in the UK, time trials are almost a separate sport. It has its own organizing body called cycling time trials. You may be wondering, why does this matter? Or what does this have to do with me? The reason lies in the moral behind the story. One of the men caught up in the end of the band said this. To sum up the British road race ban and why it went on for so long, People don't like change. If a system appears to be working, unless there is a huge number of people against it, things tend to stay the same. It is easier to do nothing than to invoke change. Those who see that a change is needed are often outnumbered and surrender in frustration because of stonewalling by the other side that would rather remain with the status quo. This is an amazing story about how challenging the status quo can result in making a big difference and possibly changing history, and that is why it matters.